This is Classic FM. Hello, I'm John Suchet, and my new biography of Beethoven, Beethoven the Man Revealed, has just been published. I know what you're thinking. Another book on Beethoven? Aren't there hundreds, even thousands? Yes. But you may think you know Beethoven, but do you really? Mind you, some people know him better than others. Um, an ITN makeup lady once said to me, who wrote Beethoven's fifth? And a taxi driver said, I know Beethoven. He's the one who cut his ear off. Even my little granddaughter, who's five years of age, said to me, Beethoven, you're writing a book about the dog? Well, I am trying to bring to you in my book a Beethoven that you didn't know before. Because the Beethoven you know is the Beethoven of statues and busts garlanded in laurel leaves, the great composer of the Fifth Symphony, the Ninth Symphony. But what I'm bringing you is Beethoven the man. Did you know, for instance, that on three separate occasions he proposed marriage to three different young ladies? They all turned him down. Did you know that as a teenager he went on a boat trip up the Rhine uh, with members of the court orchestra and because he was the youngest they appointed him Kitchen Scullion, the great Beethoven, Kitchen Scullion? Did you know that his personal hygiene was not that great and in his favourite restaurants in Vienna they would keep a table for him at the back of the restaurant so that he didn't upset other diners? Yep. This is the Beethoven that we know as a god. Remember, he was not a god, he was a man. He was actually quite short, around five foot six. Not good looking, in fact he was described as quite ugly, with a pockmarked face, but his eyes blazed and his friends said that when he walked into a room he immediately dominated it. And of course, once he sat at the piano, he dominated it even more. And did you know that unpopular though he was, he had very few good friends because he managed to upset just about everyone in Vienna, including on several occasions those friends. Despite all that, when he died, more than 20,000 people turned out on the streets of Vienna to watch the cortege pass. What else do we know about Beethoven apart from his music? The one single fact is that he was the composer who went deaf. Everybody knows He's the one who went deaf. But how much do you know about that deafness? You wouldn't believe what the doctors did to him to try to cure it. I mean, it would make your mind boggle to learn what they did. And this is a question that I'm addressing at a fascinating symposium in London on the South Bank uh, at the QE Hall on the 27th and 28th of October. And I'm addressing the subject of Beethoven's deafness. Did you know that we actually possess fragments of his skull that are being DNA tested and those tests will one day, whether it's next month, next year, 10 years or 100 years time, tell us what caused Beethoven's deafness. But before that, what we do know is that that deafness clouded every aspect of his life. And that's something that I'll be going into at this symposium. So I do hope you could perhaps come along to that and learn about the man rather than the God. And if you want to know more about the man, I hope you enjoy my book, Beethoven. The Man Revealed.